this is Reverend Casey King. I want to talk about it. Well, it's the angel Gabriel, but all of the angels. Matter of fact, we're going to get into Razael here. And so Razael was actually the secret of God. But what we end up having forth, when we look at the angel Gabriel, is he ends up giving us the opportunity and the ability to see forth the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. So when he comes and he intervenes with Daniel, he ends up showing him, generally after the fast of 21 days, the revelation of the end times, and also gives him the prophecy that was set forth within the kingdoms that he sees with Nebuchadnezzar, and then further than that, into the days of the holy angels. You mentioned also in the book of Enoch, Gabriel comes forth, but it wasn't just Gabriel, but it was Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Raguel, and then you could even say, and some argue, that Raguel was actually Raphael. Raphael is another interesting text that ends up having about the protection of the angels over the earth, and then the mentioning the names of the fallen actually has a different permeation of the Tetragrammaton. And so generally the Jah, Ahpe, and then the Yotheba, but with different repetitions of 8, 5, and 8. And so it was thus in the proclamation of these that ended up setting forth the seal of the proclamation of the angelic names. Generally that was from the text from Raphael. Raphael also being from the instruction of Raphael Hamalek, the great ends up actually showing the different ideas and the instruction of the prophets that was given forth under a higher instruction and revelation that was given forth under the opening, the seraphim, caraphim, and generally the different orders of heaven. And so when they talk about it, you listen to the seven orders of heaven, or the seventh heaven, it was actually also in this, was a portion was actually an understanding from the angels. So what you would have is Gabriel being in this realm, and then Michael being an archangel. So then you would have angels, archangels, the principalities, dominions, thrones, virtues, and powers. Leading up to the caravan and the seraphim, of course, the caravan being the seraphim angels of fire, caravan angels of love, led forth, and then you can jump into Metat. And so they said that Metatron was actually Enoch who walked with God. Of course, this was debatable, but what we do know is that it was said to be one of the chief of the angels and of the archangels. And so, thus, whenever it was a spoken word of God given, it's usually given to Metatron. However, we do also see with Raphael as he comes through in the book of Tobit, given the different instruction that was given to Tobit and Tobias, ended up leading them onto, well, generally, he ended up receiving a blessing as he went forth after the, his father became blinded by a bird and then ended up receiving a giant blessing, getting married, casting out a demon, and then ultimately coming back and at the end of the message, he ends up returning and showing them that he himself was an angel. And so it was thus through that angelic conviction in Tobit that you end up having the Archangel Raphael, who would technically be one of the principalities that was shown forth. Generally, the principalities were given forth to guide those that were going into the dominions and going to be having dominion upon this earth. And so it was a guiding the princes to be kings, whereas you would have Gabriel, an interaction that he would come with Joseph and Mary. And then also you could look back to the text and see the different variations from Hebrew and even from the Garden of Eden that talks about the caravan sort of fire set forth. And so when you look back into this and the angelology of it, what you can find is that Gabriel is set forth in the canonical text of the Bible is one of the most well-known angels of the heavens. Not so well known are those that are within the book of Enoch and then furthermore if you go further into the text, even Raphael finds himself only in the Catholic canonical text himself. So with that Look into the text. If you haven't read it, I would highly suggest Enoch because it also gives an idea of the guidance of heaven. It's my call. This is Reverend Casey Carroll. God bless. Thanks you all, my angels. I'll see you. Peace.